What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having a great day so far. Today, we're going to be hanging out with Jeff Castellucci doing a low bass singer cover of the song 16 Tons. I've never heard this song. I've never seen any of his solo work. I've done a couple videos of voice play. Steven's reacted to some videos of voice play. So I've seen him in that context. A lot of suggestions to check out his solo stuff. He said, sometimes there's instrumentation, sometimes it's acapella. Excited to see what this one's all about. Going in blind, never checked out his solo work at all. But before we get into it, a few ways that you guys can continue to support the channel. You can head on over to Patreon and become a member there and get access to all sorts of features and perks. If that doesn't work for you right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member and get access to all the features and perks available there. And as always, if you guys have a request, you want to make it a priority and guarantee that we react to it and put out a video, you guys can donate through Buy Me A Coffee and we'll make it happen. Never expected, always appreciated. You guys are awesome. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, folks, here we go. Jeff Castellucci doing a low bass singer cover of the song 16 Tons. Got my ears in because I know I'm going to need him to pick up on all the nuances of this dude's voice. I know he goes low. So let's get into it and check it out. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. A muscle and blood and a skin and bones. You've got a mind that's weak and a lot of back Jeffs. that's strong. You load a 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and a deeper in debt Say to Peter don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Say Peter don't you call me Cause I can't go Say Peter don't you call me To the company store Say, Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Come on So I had no idea that he had a range like this Actually I take that back I've never heard it because a lot of people in the comments, y'all have really kind of shown up telling us all about this guy, how amazing he is, how crazy his range is. I've never heard it. I've only ever heard like the low bass stuff that he does with voice play. So this is new for me, like hearing him do all these higher parts. Um, I'm not really a voice guy. I play a lot of instruments, but I don't sing. Um, so I can't really comment a lot, you know, on you know, the range and things like that. Um, but he seems like he's got a pretty wide range, you know, to be able to do all these parts himself. I love all the stuff, you know, he's, he's got the tools he's talking about, you know, um, you know, his soul being sold out to the company. I think we all know how that is just, you know, working, um, and just feeling like sometimes people feel like just they're owned by their jobs in the nine to five. So, um, yeah, this, this is cool, man. Hearing him, hearing him do this is wild. I, uh, like I said, I, I really had no idea. I believe you guys in the comments, but hearing it is like, oh, wow. Like, they weren't playing. This dude's really got a lot of range. Well, I was born on a morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal and the strong boss said, Well, I bless my soul. You load 16 <laughs> tons and wood. Yeah. <laughs> he sounded like a cartoon character there. Hold on, I got to go back. That's funny. So I guess when they do stuff like this, um, obviously there can only be one of him at a time. I'm assuming that he probably recorded all the other stuff on green screen and then overlaid it into the video. I know you guys have said that they do all this kind of stuff in house. Um, I think you said like his wife is heavily involved in the production element of it. Um, not really sure. I think that's what you guys said. Um, but yeah, I mean, the set design's super cool. Um, you know, he's got all these different tools, you know, pickaxe and a shovel and hammers and all this different stuff. He's talking about working in the mines. It's really cool. Like it, it just fits the whole vibe of everything from what he's singing to how it looks. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments too. Like I'm, I would assume that he probably had to record each of these individually green screen. Like one of them, I would say he may have been in front of the set and then the other ones are green screened or maybe he just green screened every one 
in on the set. I don't really know. Um, but I'm sure you guys know. Y'all seem to be pretty knowledgeable about everything um, that him and the voice play folks do. So inform me in the comments and let me know if I'm if I'm wrong or if I'm ignorant. No, uh, I got I got thick skin. So, yep, I want to... I want to hear that little cartoon character comment thing again that he did. <laughs> that was hilarious. He legitimately sounded like a cartoon. Only 16 tons of number nine coal and the strong boss said, Well, I bless my soul. You load 16 tons and what do That's you so get? Cool. Another day older and a deeper in debt saying, Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company stone. I was born one morning in the drizzling rain A fighting in trouble have been my middle name I was raised in the cane break by an old mama like And oh, I told a woman make me walk the line Yeah, 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company stone See me coming better. Step aside. A lot of men didn't. A lot of men died. A one fist of iron and the other is steel. Right one wheel, you load. Oh. Sixteen times. I can't even believe this is all coming from one person, right? Like, there's so many voices. Like, I would have thought this was like a voice play. If I just listened to it, I'm like, oh, it's voice play. But it's like just him. Um, so like the. Obviously, I mean, he had to sing all the parts. I'm assuming he probably arranged it himself. You know, the snaps, the stomps, all the different vocal parts and harmonies and rhythms and everything. Um, what a talented guy. Just crazy talented, man. I, uh, I love it when you just run into like just wildly talented folks that are like a one man band kind of thing. Um, and even though this is him just doing some percussion stuff, you know, stomps, claps, snaps, all that. And then all the singing, like he's a one man band, like he's not really playing any instruments, but people sometimes tend to treat the voice like it's not an instrument. And honestly, it's the, the original instrument. I mean, the human voice was the first thing around, um, for people to sing or vocal percussion or whatever. All the other instruments are man-made. He's just using what God gave him and working it out. And it's dope. What do you get? Another day back in on that load deeper in that saying Peter don't you call me cuz I can't go I owe my soul to the company stone cuz I can't go Peter don't you call me cuz I can't go Well half time feel say Peter don't you call me cuz I can't go I owe my soul To the company store. Cause I can go. Man. So there were some people that commented and said to like stay through the patron stuff. I wonder if there's more. They usually said there's like some Easter eggs or different stuff. You might miss something if you, uh, if you don't say that. But it don't look like that's the case this time. So, wow, crazy talented dude. I love the thing. I didn't really notice it until towards the end, but as they were stomping the um, the tools, it was shaking the camera like as an intentional thing, like pushing it in and out of focus and really shaking it, which I thought was super cool. Definitely an added dramatic effect there. Wow. Woo, y'all didn't lie, man. Crazy talented dude. Um, it seems like he's got a plethora of content on his solo channel as well as all the stuff that he does with voice play. Um, dude, I did not know what to expect going into it. I didn't know really, you know, y'all have said that sometimes there's instrumentation, sometimes they're not, you know, this one had a little bit of percussion with some stomps, claps, snaps and all that, but it was really centered on his vocal and really, you know, to me, uh, really the first time hearing him sing by himself really exemplified like his range. Cause like I said earlier in the video, all I've heard him do and seen him do is the, uh, is the voice play stuff. And so he's always seems to be singing, you know, low stuff in there. So this was kind of a shock for me, but wow, what a talented guy.
And if him and his wife are doing all the arranging and the production and the set work and the camera and the lighting design, that's even more insane, dude. What like just be even beyond the music, what a what a talented, what a talented, talented um duo that is, if she's as involved as I seem to think she is based on the comments. So wow. Whew. All right, y'all. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. As always, appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.